In this video, I want to compare a three flowchart or diagram creator together and give you the pros and cons for each of them. All of them are free of charge. You can use them freely. And well, uh, all of them are for creating flowcharts and diagrams with some differences. So I want to give you some idea in what situation you need which one of these tools. Okay. Um, so we have draw.io, excalidraw.com, and flowyboard.com. So let me start with flowyboard.com very fast. So the current flowchart that I have created is with flowyboard.com. It's an animated flowchart, as you can see. I'm going to go through the notes here I have written. So the other one is excalidraw.com, which is really famous and I really love it. Uh, let me show you some of my diagrams. I have already used it in my multiple videos. And it's really fast and it's sketchy and um, it gives you a really simple template, but eye catching and attractive template that you can use it. And the third option is draw.io, which is also really famous and it has a lot of tools and options. And we want to check all these three together. So first of all, pros of each tool. So for, for draw.io, it's four more formal works. And so if you want to present it for your company or if you want to print it out, the, the flowcharts, the diagrams you have created. It's a good tool. You can come up with all kinds of flowcharts if you want to come up with some technical flowcharts for a client, a former client. It's a good tool to do that. Um, and also it has diversity of charts, yeah, all kinds of charts and flowcharts. And it's really a mature, I could say, tool uh, it's really uh, improved and developed for years and years and now it's a really amazing tool. Uh, the other tool is excalidraw.com. So it's suitable for fast sketches and it's, um, it's for more informal and it's, it's good when you want to present something to a friend or on YouTube or um, and usually you don't use this tool for creating some um, flowcharts for your company, you know, or if you want, if you have a proposal that there are some diagrams in it, it's a formal proposal, you don't use Excalidro. However, I think it might not be a bad idea if you give it a try for these kind of situations because, well, uh, sometimes it's good to be cool and uh, eye-catching. Anyway, it has a lot of eye-catching uh, templates. Well, actually, there is only one template that is basically the main part of it. And it's not that flexible. We get to that point. But the flows and the theme it has, it's really eye-catching. Also, it's a freeform board. I mean, uh, in draw.io, well, there is a fixed size board, board basically here. You can select the pay, paper size. But when it comes to Excalidraw, you can zoom in and zoom out, as you can see here. And so, and you can have as many flows and diagrams you want to have. There is no limitation for that. So it's a good idea, of, good, good tool for uh, presentation stuff, if you want to create a YouTube video or for other works. And also you, it's good to, you know, to save some notes here if you want to use it as your note uh, keeper. So now the third option, flowyboard.com. Here we have flowyboard.com. Let me show another flowchart that I have created recently. So this is a more technical flowchart. As you can see, I created these flowcharts in a couple of hours, all of these. So the big part of flowyboard.com, as you can see, it's, 
it's animated flowcharts here so it's really easy you can just you, you just need to create a shape and all the shapes have some kind of animations by default and when you create the shape for instance here when I choose it I can change some colors of it and uh, it's really easy um, for instance I can just select every part that I want and then move it wherever I want okay so that's it for um, all the pros and well Scully draw and dot com and flowyboard.com are both fast and fast and handy uh, flowyboard.com and draw.io has more diversity more settings more options with Xcody draw it's not really easy it's not that flexible uh, you, you need to stay within the structure it has and you can for instance you can't select any color you want there are some uh, pre-selected colors um, xcodydraw.com and flowyboard are both eye-catching flows uh, more attractive but when it comes to draw.io um, it's more formal there is no beautiful theme there it, it's for more you know hard work so both xcodydraw and flowyboard.com are both freeform boards and for for instance i can zoom out as you can see and then zoom in as much as I want and what else do we have here so that's it for the pros and then for the cons um, so as I said draw.io draw is not that handy and fast it takes time to create flows with that because well when it comes to form of flowcharts and diagrams you need to spend a lot of time but if you want to just create a YouTube video or if you want to have a really cool presentation for your friends for your classmates um, for your quick presentation it these two tools um, Excalidro and Floyboard are both handy it doesn't have that much um, th that many beautiful elements and shapes in in draw.io so all of them as you can see here very basic it gives you some options to modify it but well the it's not really eye-catching animation is not supported you can add some plugins but it's very limited and also the board is limited now when it comes to excalidraw.com cons are uh, like diversity solo and there are some predefined shapes you need to use them the predefined theme and also animation is not supported and when it comes to flowboard.com um, so the problem with that is that when you come up with a lot of animations I mean this is not a, a lot it, it, it's a normal animation but if you want to fill all the board with all the animations because basically all the animation is getting rendered on your browser on your computer it's gonna be really heavy and also it's relatively new a new tool and uh, so it has less options but uh, as the um, as they said uh, they're working on this fix box add new features it's pretty new but I think even what with all these features and uh, with all these bugs and uh, less features when it comes to creating animated flowcharts it's quite handy and you can already come up with really nice look at these uh, flowcharts that I have created um, it's really useful well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. See you another time.